All right, good people. So the agenda's on the sideboard. Today is Tuesday. Uh, I'm going to go real quickly over the warm-up, what we're going to write in our planner. Okay. Um, after which, I'm going to model for you how to exponential word problems. And then you're going to work with a partner or group on exponential word problems. Okay. Tonight, I need you to study your notes on equations. If you didn't study your notes on expressions, you need to go back and study your notes on expressions. Um, tonight is equations. Make sure that you understand how to solve multi-step equations. Remember, if you have questions, there's tutoring. You can get help with tutoring. Um, someone asked me to do a virtual session, so I'll do a virtual session here soon. So be on the lookout for that. Um, but please make sure that we are studying as we go along. Last night was expressions. Tonight is equations. I'll be giving you a very short modified quiz at the end of the week on everything that we review. Questions, comments, or concerns? All right. Let's write down our homework in our planner, please. Okay, this is the first week of the third quarter. Please check off if you studied the notes on expressions last night and the current stuff on exponential functions. Please make sure that it doesn't take that long. You could do it on the way home, okay, on the bus or in the car, whatever. You just need a couple minutes to review some stuff so it'll stick, okay? Any questions? All right, tonight we're working on equations. I need you to study your notes on equations. Go back. It's in the front part of your notebook. The first thing we went over was expressions. We did that last night. If you didn't do it last night, go over it tonight. Along with equations. All you're doing is flipping through, reading your notes, kind of going in order. Okay? I don't want you to feel overwhelmed, so we're just doing a little bit at a time, a couple pages a night, just looking over it. Any questions? If you have, if you are stuck on those things, then you need to stay after for tutoring. If you can't stay after school, then we can do a virtual session. But please don't make excuses. Please make time for, for this stuff because it's super important. You don't want to wait to the end and be like, well, I never understood this or I never understood that. That's going to be completely your fault. I'm going to hear you, but I'm not going to hear you. Okay, because I'm telling you now to go back and look over stuff. Any questions? All right, we have tutoring. You want to go ahead and write that and plan that out. That's tutoring Thursday. Your ride needs to be here by 4. Our session will end before 4. It usually ends around 3, 15-ish, okay? And if you want to stay and get additional help from, um, you want to stay and finish your homework, you can stay and finish your homework, or you can go over and get help in language arts with Ms. Barletto. Okay, that's always an option. Yeah, that's what the tutoring is for. It's been like that for a while. Do you have tutoring? We both do. Every Tuesday and Thursday. Every every Tuesday and Thursday. I know y'all got those letters home. Okay, Tuesday and Thursday. Shh, it's been like that for a while. Come on, y'all. All right, warm up. Okay, I'm just going to briefly go through how you should answer the questions. The opposite of squaring a number is square root. So the only way to solve for x is to find the square root on both sides. The square root of x squared is just x. Why, Ms. Reyes? Because x times x is x squared. What is the square root of 196? 14. Positive or negative 14 is your answer. Because positive 14 times positive 14 is a positive 196. And negative 14 times a negative 14 is a positive 196. Cube root. You're finding the cube root of this fraction. That means you're going to find the cube root of 1 on the top, the numerator, and the cube root of 
64 on the bottom. Cube root means what number can be multiplied times itself three times to give you the number under the radical. What number can be multiplied times itself three times to give you one? One. The cube root of one is one. What's the cube root of 64? 24. Four. Four times four is 16. 16 times four is 64. So the answer is four. Questions? All right. Scientific notation. Please make sure that you multiply the numbers together just like we did on yesterday and get an answer. Then you're going to multiply 10 times 3 times 10 times 6 and get an answer. And then put it together just like we did on yesterday. A. Let's look at A. What you should have. This is a power raised to a power. So your numerator should read 4 is the exponent, 5 times 2. Power of a power, multiply the exponents. On the bottom, you're multiplying exponents with like bases, so you add the exponents here. That's going to be 4 is being multiplied 3 times here, 4 is being multiplied 6 times here. So it's 3 plus 6. On the top, you get 4 to what power? 10. On the bottom, you get 4 to what power? 9. Now you're going, you're dividing, so you're going to subtract the exponent. Top exponent minus bottom exponent. That's going to be 4 to what power? One. 1 or just 4 as my answer. 4 to the first power is 4. Okay, you should be able to do this on your own. You're adding there the exponents. You should be able to do this on your own. You should be able to do the others on your own. Questions, comments, or concerns? Okay, we're gonna, I'm going to pause for the calls. If you have to go to the restroom, let's line up. If not, continue working on your warm-up and your homework. Continue. Please take out this little half sheet. Mia, that's why. That's another read. I'm trying my hardest. Lord, let me pause. We're on page 10. We've already done problem number 9. We did this one already together. And we did problem 10 in our notebook together. So you are going to do the rest, 11 through 16 okay you're gonna do 11 through 16 i need you to do those now i'm gonna pause for the calls give you a chance to get those done i want you to do them on your own then we're gonna go through it then the next assignment that we have make sure everybody knows what they're doing then the next assignment is a group assignment but i need for you to be able to do this on your own Okay, so let's go over them to see, make sure that we got the right idea about how to do the problem. Okay, Bryson. Okay, so number 10. Shh. Uh, we already did number 10, sorry. 11. Um, your starting salary at a new company is $34,000, okay? Um, and it increase, increase is a key word here. Yes. That's okay, baby. We increase by 2.5%, okay? Because we're increasing by percent, it's exponential growth, all right? So we already know the form that we're going to use is Y is equal to C, parentheses, 1 plus R to the X power. Please stop talking, okay? So now, Bryson, which one of these numbers is the starting amount or my C? 34%. Very good. That's why I'm going to write Y is equal to C, or my starting amount is 34,000. Parentheses, 1 is a part of the formula, plus my rate. My rate is this percent right here, but I have to write this percent as a decimal. How do I write 2.5% as a decimal? Very good. Move the decimal over how many times? Two. Two times to the what? Left. So this is going to be plus 0 0.025 to the x power. That is the equation. I could go ahead and add those together. It's the same thing. But this is the equation. Mia, do you understand that this is the equation? Because parts of your, your x and your y were missing. You get it now, right? Because you should be able to have, look, a total. You have your output, your input. Your range and your domain, you're writing an equation, okay? All right, let's read number, let's read letter B, okay, Kaylani? We have what 
will salary be in five years? We're going to round it to the nearest dollar, okay? All right, we're going to round to the nearest dollar. So, no, I guess it's, they don't want any pennies on this one, which is fine. Okay, so how would I find the answer? What would I do? No, baby. I want her to think about it first. We know we have the equation. What does the five years represent? Is that going to be X or is that going to be Y? Your, X, your, uh, your Y is the total, right? Isn't this a total amount? And your X is going to be the years, okay? So which one is five going to be? Is five going to be X or Y? X. It's going to be X number of years, five. So now we're going to substitute five in the place of the X. So we have Y is equal to 34,000. Uh, times 1.025 to the fifth power. Let's, let's type that in and see what we get, okay? Type it in, Kaylani. We got 34,000 times, or parentheses, 1.025. Close the parentheses there. Carrot key to the fifth year. And what does that give you? Hmm? Very good. 38,460. Round to this dollar, 68. Okay. Raise your hand if you got that right on your own. Oh, that's really good. Okay, we did get it right on my own. That's what's up. All right, number 12. In 2010, an item cost $9. The price increased by 1.5% each year. Okay. How would I write this as an equation? Elizabeth, how would you write this one as an equation? Um, y, equals y equals 9. Very good. We changed the percent to a decimal to the x power. Okay. B. How much would it cost in 2030? Yes. Y equals, y equals how, what did you do to get $12? Because it's right. Mm -hmm. I did nine, nine times 1.015 to the carrot key of, what's the, it was what's the exponent going to be? <laughs> Exponent movie? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to that's what I'm getting to. Okay, go ahead. Hey, that's what it is. Exponent movie eight. No. It's how many? Very good. It's twenty. Okay. How did we get twenty? The starting year was what year? Two thousand ten. And we had to go from two thousand ten to what year? So 2030 minus 2010 is 20 years. So the X is going to be 20 years. That's okay, babe. So that is going to give you the $12.12, okay? So we got 9 times 1.015 carat key, you said 20. And that gave you twelve dollars and twelve cents. And they said to the round to the nearest cent, so that's why we're gonna say twelve dollars and twelve cents. Raise your hand if you got that right on your own. Okay, very good. 
All right, number 13. Number 13. Let's see here. Let's go. Jameson. Number 13 says the yearly profit of a company is $25,000. The profits have been decreasing by 6% per year. What type of function is this? Decay. How do we know, Jamie, that it's decay? How do we know that number 13 is exponential decay? Because it says it's decreasing by a percent. How? Go ahead, baby. I'm sorry. Yes. Okay. All right. So now, how do we write the exponential decay function? Aiden? And the 13. Uh, what are we forgetting? We need an equation. I know. 25,000. Mm. Y equals. Y equals, equals 25,000 parentheses 1 plus 0 0.06 parentheses x. Well, minus. Uh, so minus. Thank you. Decreasing. Decreasing. Minus. What did you say the uh, decimal was? 0 0.06. Okay. So, to the x power. All right. B, what will the profits be in eight years? How do we do that, Saxon? Hannah Pool. Sorry. How will we do that, Hannah Pool? B in 13. Very good. We're going to substitute 8 in for X. We're going to replace X with 8. So this is Y is equal to 25,000. Uh, and what is 1 minus 0 0.06? What does that equal? 0.94. Good job, Hannah. So we got 0.94 to the 8th power. So let's type this in, Bryson, let's type this in. 25,000, we got times 0.94, carrot key, we're looking for the eighth year. Very good. We got one, uh, no, 15,000. 239. Is this going to be on the fridge? Yes. Ooh, yeah. Shh. All right. Okay. Shh. You bought $2,000 worth of stock in 2012. Okay. How would I write this as an equation, Mackenzie? Y equals 1 minus 0 0.1, good job, to the X power. How would we figure out the answer for B? How would we, Lily? How do we know we're going to replace the X with 5? Because 17 minus 12 is 5. 2017 minus the 2012 is equal to 5 years. It's 5 years between those. So we have to substitute 5 in for X. Y is equal to 2,000 times what is 1 minus... Point one. Point nine to the fifth power. So we got the two thousand, oops, two thousand times point nine carrot key five. 
And what does that give us? 1,180. Very good. And we're talking about money. So this is $1,180 and how much cent? $98. All right, any questions? What did you get for 15A? What's the equation for 15A? Um, yes. Y is equal to 42,500. 1 minus 0.15X. Very good. What did you get for 16 in the equation? What's the equation, Annie? Y equals 65,500. One minus, I didn't hear you, baby. 0 0.01 to the X power. Okay, and you should be able to substitute for number 15, what is X gonna equal? What are we substituting for X? We're substituting seven. How do we know we substitute seven? 2022 minus 2015. And then what are we substituting for X in 16? What's X going to be? 20. All right. Okay, let's paste this on page 10 and put your calculators back. Can I borrow that?